Hi, this is Matt. Today I'm hanging with Eric from Outer Limitless. We're going to do a quick review on the Catula Micro Spikes. This is our first impression. We've never used these before, so I'm going to open them up, see how they go on, and then try them out on some ice. So the Micro Spikes come with this little stuff sack that you can store them in. It's kind of a heavy duty nylon. You open them up. So it looks like thick rubber indicates front and rear and it has the spikes. So we'll give it a shot, put these on and see how they work. Alright, so we're going to see how these go on today. Now this is a size medium, goes up to a size 11 for hiking style boots. So I'm wearing some A-Solo hiking boots and I have a pair of gaiters on because we've got some snow on the ground. So let's see how these things go. Front. There's a little tab on the back you can grab. Going real easy. Real easy, no problem. Oh, look at this. This is great. Seem like they're gonna be great for when you don't really need a, a long three inch crampon, but you do need something. Get a nice look at the grip. Let's give it a shot. Oh yeah. So my first impression of these micro spikes is they're great. They go on with ease, they hold up, stay in place, keep you where you want to be. So my only question is how long they're going to last. Um, we'll see. We'll have to keep using them and find out next year. But as of now, I think it was a wise investment. So I just want to say a couple more things about these micro spikes. I was looking at the yak tracks and some other slip-on, kind of light-duty crampons, and all the reviews were saying these were the way to go. So I gave them a shot. I found them online, paid about $50 on sale, which seems to be about the average price they go for. And uh, so far, I think, it's, I think it's a wise decision. So far, we've only tried them right here on the ice. Look forward to running around in the snow a little, see how they hold up, see, see if it gets packed in. So we want to test these out a little in the snow too to see how they handle getting packed up and stuff. No apprehension <laughs> walking out onto the ice. I know, no, not at all. Even with snow. Whoa. All right, we got a little, you get those air gaps, you know. Be careful over here. Might have to take this tree across. Okay, <laughs> 
Taking these micro spikes out and through the middle of the swamp here. For whatever reason, for whatever, we thought this was a good idea. As you can see, they've gotten a little wet, so there has been a bit of buildup. Let's see. Show me again. Yeah, definitely. However, if you take a look around, we're in knee deep snow, so I don't really think it's going to be much of an issue. We'll see how easy it is to tap them off when we get somewhere where we can actually tap them off. I'm thankful for the gators today, that's for sure. All right, let's take a look at these micro spikes after going through that field. As you can see, they don't look too bad now. They definitely got clumped up. What I'm curious about is how easy they are to clean off. So, I'm just gonna whack it against this tree and see what. They come up, they clean up pretty easily, which is good to know. I was kind of worried about that, that after coming onto this, if you had it off some ice, it could be dangerous, but let's try this one. Oops. <laughs> yeah, not bad. No problem, huh? No, and I definitely went in the water for a bit too. All right, just wanted to say a few last words about these micro spikes. Been walking around them for about three hours in all kinds of terrain. We went through a swamp on pure ice, deep snow, and they've been great. It's like you don't even realize you're wearing them. Any snow that packs up comes right off. I I'm very satisfied with these. I would highly recommend them. Just have to see how they hold up over the long term. All right, so thanks for checking out this review. Be sure to check out other reviews for Outer Limitless. And we'll see you next time. Stay warm.